So we already talked about the layers of abdomen. Now we're going to have we're going to talk about how these um, how these layers apply to abdominal imaging. So we're going to go through four main sections of the abdomen. So we're going to go uh, through the um, the highest section through the abdomen, a section through about the level of the kidneys, a section um, through the mid level of the abdomen about L3, and a section through the lower abdomen about L4 or L5. The first layer, I'm sorry, the first um, section is shown here. So this is a section through the uppermost portion of the abdomen. Um, so once again, to interpret this image, what we're going to do is um, have a look at the layers of the abdomen. Remember, layer one was bones. So um, in this image, the bones that we can identify are firstly the vertebral body, which lies here. Whoops. And then we've also got the ribs, which lies for which lie further laterally. The next layer, um, uh, up from uh, bones, was the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall. We can't see the psoas major or quadratus lumborum muscles quite yet, but what we can see is the crura of the diaphragm, which lie either side of the abdominal aorta. So the crura of the diaphragm, as this line indicates here, uh, basically wrapped around the um, aorta, which is here. The next layer up from the posterior abdominal um, wall muscles are the big, uh, the big blood vessels of the abdomen. Um, these uh, are the abdominal aorta, and in front of the, uh, sorry, to the right of the abdominal aorta, we've got the inferior vena cava. Note that the abdominal aorta passes through the aortic um, opening of the diaphragm, which lies between the diaphragmatic crura, and the inferior vena cava passes upwards, still within the abdomen. Um, to the right of the right cross of the diaphragm. Now, we can't see the portal vein here because the portal vein um, has already branched and passed into the liver. So these are some of the branches of the portal. Well, they might be hepatic veins. But there's the branches of the portal vein that are spread out amongst the liver. The um, next layer of structures that we should look for is the retroperitoneal organs. However, um, we can't really see um, the retroperitoneal organs at this stage because the section is quite high. So we'll just immediately turn our attention to the intraperitoneal organs. So remember once again, within the upper part of the abdomen, the spleen, so the liver lies in front of the stomach, which lies in front of the spleen. This is um, the next section within um, the abdomen, which passes through um, approximately about L1, or slightly below it. Remember once again, the layers of the abdomen. So firstly, we've got bone. The first, uh, the first thing is the vertebral body, and the next thing that we can identify is the ribs. In front of this, we've got the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall. We can still see some of the diaphragmatic crura. But we see also the start of the quadratus lumborum and the psoas major muscles here. In front of the muscular layer, we've got the blood vessels of um, the big blood vessels of the abdomen. So the big blood vessels of the abdomen are the um, abdominal aorta. So why is they labeled the kidney? Anyway, so the the big blood vessels of the abdomen, you've got the abdominal aorta and the IVC. The IVC lies to the right of the abdominal aorta. Once again. Um, we've already talked about that heaps of times. Um, and the next thing to think about is the portal vein. Now, the portal vein lies in front of the inferior vena cava, which you can see there. All right. The next thing you look for is retroperitoneal organs. So, if, as we've already labelled here, we've got the kidneys in the um, lateral to the vertebral uh, body. Um, in front of the kidneys, we have the pancreas. Now the pancreas is this um, organ here, which has the density of fat, and um, it, the pancreas lies in front of the portal vein um, and the abdominal aorta, as well as this branch here of the abdominal aorta, which is the superior mesenteric artery. The splenic vein is stuck to the back of the pancreas, which you can see here. So that's the splenic vein, that's the pancreas, and it's stuck to the back of it. Okay, wrapped around the pancreas is the um, wrapped around the head of the pancreas is the duodenum, which you can see here. The next layer up um, after the retroperitoneal organs is small um, small blood vessels. 
Um, the first of which is the superior mesenteric artery, which we can see here, but we haven't labelled. The next thing is the intraperitoneal organs. Once again, remember from front to back, we have the liver with the gallbladder and the undersurface. Then we have the stomach and the spleen. A section to the middle of the abdomen um, can be interpreted once again in the same way. So you have firstly bone, which is uh, in, at this stage a vertebral body only. Next we've got the muscles as a posterior abdominal wall, which include this, um, the quadratus lumborum and the solus major. That's the solus major that's been labelled there as PS, and the quadratus lumborum, which lies uh, deeper on an, and on a slightly more lateral plane. Lying in front of the muscular layer is the small blood vessels of the abdomen, the big blood vessels of the abdomen, which include um, the um, abdominal aorta and to its right the inferior vena cava. Um, lying in front of this, we've got, um, sorry, the next layer up from this, we've got retroperitoneal viscera, and then we've got the small blood vessels of the abdomen, but we're going to label the small blood vessels first, and um, these are the gonadal vessels, um, and these lie um, <coughs> immediately in front of the psoas major muscle. The retroperitoneal viscera include the ascending colon on the right side and the descending colon on the left hand side. The next layer after the retroperitoneal viscera, as we said before, was the small blood vessels. So the small blood vessels, we've got the inferior mesenteric vein here, and we've got um, the superior the branches of the superior mesenteric sorry, we've got the inferior mesenteric artery here and we've got the branches of the superior mesenteric artery distributed here. Lying in front of the small blood vessels, we've got the in, intraperitoneal organs, and these include the small bowel loops. And then in front of the small bowel loops, we've got the transverse um, colon.